Colonel Wayne Moroto, the spokesman for Operation Inherent Resolve, tweeted that the airbase was attacked by 14 rockets which landed on the base and perimeter, and that two personnel sustained minor injuries. He told CNN he does not have information on the nationalities of the people injured but said, more details will be provided when available. Damage from the attack is still being assessed at the airbase, which is one of the largest and oldest military bases in the country. Sharhabil al obaidi the mayor of al-Baghdadi in Anbar province, told CNN that the coalition responded to the source of the launch and struck a vehicle from which the rockets were launched near the town of al-Baghdadi. al obaidi said several rockets hit Iraqi army posts inside the airbase but could not provide further details. CNN's Richard Quest puzzled over Hungary's LGBTQ restriction Czech president says transgender people, discussed, him North Korean media airs unusual interview about Kim Jong-un's weight loss Sydney under stay-at-home order as COVID-19 cases in Australia rise see Iran's supreme leader get Iranian-developed COVID vaccine CNN correspondent. Bake it, lived an absolute nightmare newlyweds ripped apart as husband detained by Chinese government Dutch PM. Hungary has, no place in the Ucuban migrants are attempting treacherous journey to use have never seen you this impassioned, CNN anchor reacts to UN agency chief's message Iran's president-elect delivers first speech to supporters he inspired an Oscar-nominated film. Now, he could face life in prison Pakistan PM faces backlash for claim about sexual violence advisor to Iran Speaker of Parliament. U.S. has constantly lost opportunities suspect charged with murder in death of American student Agonda's first female boxer heads to Tokyo Olympic security officials in the town of al-Baghdadi told CNN that a house nearby the launcher was damaged in the coalition airstrike, but no casualties were reported. Load error Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said at the time that the targets were selected because these facilities are utilized by Iran-backed militias that are engaged in unmanned aerial vehicle. UAV, attacks against U.S. personnel and facilities in Iraq. Specifically, the U.S. strikes targeted operational and weapon storage facilities at two locations in Syria and one location in Iraq, both of which lie close to the border between those countries. As demonstrated by this evening's strikes, President Biden has been clear that he will act to protect U.S. personnel. Given the ongoing series of attacks by Iran-backed groups targeting U.S. interests in Iraq, the president directed further military action to disrupt and deter such attacks, Kirby said in a news release. At least four Iran-backed militia fighters in Iraq and Syria were killed in those airstrikes, Iraqi militia said in a statement.